generally what happen alkyl halide we write uh, with s right alkyl halide generally we write with sp3 carbon whereas for aryl halide what happen we will take this so if i write something what happen ch3 x this is alkyl halide isn't it this is called what alkyl halide and this alkyl halide readily undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions we have seen number of reactions they study this nucleophilic substitution reactions now today what we are seeing aryl halides that means on benzene isn't it you are having a halogen it may be chlorine or bromine something like this now these are undergoing very difficult to undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction whatever i am writing is it visible for you yes sir now aryl hal halides are difficult to undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions whereas alkyl halides will undergo readily nucleophilic substitution reaction now how do you say it is alkyl halide the halogen bonded carbon is having which hybridization here sp3 hybridization whereas halogen bonded carbon is having here sp2 hybridization so that you can easily identify now for what is the first reason why aryl halides you observe here why aryl halides are extremely less reactive extremely what happen less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reactions all of you please open your textbooks i know most of you 70% you don't have textbook i do i know that one hmm? all are you having textbook isn't it so first yes, reason sir ha uh, resonance effect the exam me pooch sakta hai why aryl halides are extremely less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reactions give the reasons the first reason is resonance effect so what is this resonance effect if you observe here what happen now i am writing in a slide like this so all of you just see here how what is this resonance effect how it takes place here now first of all what happens here so you take a chlorobenzene i am taking something a chlorobenzene you you can also take no problem you your notebook what happen you take like this chlorobenzene so here you can write like this chlorobenzene take three pi bonds like this okay all of you because this is very important thing for us now is it visible for you this screen is visible no the chlorobenzene is visible for you yes yes right. sir sir yes sir chlorine has three lone pairs okay even the chlorine or bromine iodine whatever halogen you take it has three lone pairs but i will use one lone pair only now i am shifting this lone pair here understood i am shifting this lone pair here because of this the uh, generally carbon should have only four bonds no now that is the reason the pi bond shifts on this next carbon so we are going to get a resonance structure like this you observe here what happen you are going to get a resonance structure like this here same thing here same ah, here between chlorine we are going to get a double bond see this bond shifted here what happen we got double bond here you get negative character because this pi bond isn't it this pi bond if you observe here what happen shifting on the carbon as what negative charge like this and this lone pair shifted as a pi bond isn't it lone pair shifted as a pi bond and the pi bond shifted as a negative charge now between carbon here and the chlorine you got double bond character or not tell me first of all here this get a positive character because you are losing this lone pair here right now what i mean to say is that between carbon and chlorine are you getting double double bond or not tell me yes sir right but if you observe in the alkyl halides for example i have taken ch3 chlorine i have taken okay now do you get double bond character is possible here this type of uh, shifting is possible is it possible tell me 
is it possible or not possible tell me do fast no no why we no, it should undergo resonance the pi bonds must be in conjugation the pi bonds must be in conjugation this is conjugation pi bonds are lone pair and pi bond are in conjugation is there so for the conjugation then only the resonance possible according to the 11th class isn't it reaction mechanism we study this whenever you have lone pair pi bond in conjugation then only resonance is possible so because of absence of resonance isn't it because of absence of resonance double bond character is not possible this is not possible now because of resonance because of resonance double bond character is possible between carbon and chloride now when you observe the nucleophilic substitution reaction what is happening for example if i take ch3cl i am writing in this way here ch3cl i am writing here now in the nucleophilic substitution reaction what is happening nucleophile attacks here and this bond will be cleaved here okay so you got something what CS3 nucleophile. Correct or not? Tell me. This reaction is correct or not? Please speak out. Yes, sir. Hmm. Now, how many bonds are cleaving here? One bond or two bonds here? How many bonds are cleaving here? One. 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 Okay. In the case of aryl halides, what happens? We are going to. In the case of aryl halides, here this part. How many bonds we have to cleave now here? Between carbon and chlorine, how many bonds we have to cleave here? Two. two bonds now which is difficult and which is easy but cleaving one bond or two bonds two bonds two bonds is what very difficult to cleave here. it is very difficult to cleave here. first thing is that if they ask in examination what you have to give on two bonds in, uh, yes in halobenzene because of a resonance carbon halogen bond carbon halogen bond will get double bond character okay so cleaving the double bond is difficult when you compare with alkyl halides so this is the first actually reason actually so in your textbook it is given everything is given you observe here, here double bond character you are getting you observe double bond character double bond character so what they are saying you observe here. because of conjugation with pi electrons isn't it the ccl bond here halogen means i have taken example c fluorine you can take even bromine also iron also you can take okay except to fluorine ccl bond acquires a partial double bond character due to resonance as a result bond cleavage in halo arenes is difficult that is the reason it is less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction okay so first reason because of getting डबल बॉन्ड कैरेक्टर दट इज ड्यू टू वॉट इन रेजिडेंस आप इतना ही लिखना है इतना मत ये ज्यादा लिखने की जरूरत नहीं है आपको सिर्फ एक सेंटेंस लिखना है आपको बिकॉज ऑफ रेजिडेंस कार्बन हेलोजन बॉन्ड इज गेटिंग डबल बॉन्ड कैरेक्टर दिस इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू क्लिक दट इट सेकेंड रीजन इफ यू ऑब्जर्व वॉट एपन वॉट एपोर्ट द सेकेंड नेक्स्ट पेज इफ यू गो फॉर वॉट डिफरेंस इन द हाइब्रिडेशन ऑफ कार्बन सी एक्स बॉन्ड ना वेन यू ऑब्जर्व यर वॉट एपन the carbon x which type of bond you are having i am writing here so already i have written this one but anyhow we can write one more time now if you observe in alkyl halides i am writing in alkyl halides ch3 ch3 chlorine okay now this carbon is having which type of hybridization anybody s3 s3 very good this is having sp3 because of single bond sp3 because of double bond here here is a having double bond so this carbon whatever the carbon is there here that will have sp2 hybridization now whenever if you observe carbon with sp3 hybridization this bond length will be more the bond length will be more bl means what bond length but uh, double bond carbon bond length if you observe because of sp2 hybridization bond length shorter bond length it is, it is having what shorter bond length when you compare with what actually single bond actually. so double bonds will have short bond length when you compare with what single bond so when bond length is shorter smaller 
what happens generally what happen bond energy will be more because bond length and bond energy both are what actually inversely proportional this we have studied in the chemical bonding parameters we have studied that one. so in the second statement what they are saying you observe here here so in halo alkanes in alkyl halides in halo alkanes which hybridization you are having sp3 hybridization you are having but in the halo arenes in the halo arenes you are having sp2 hybridization this part you have to see sp2 and sp3 hybridization now in sp2 the percentage of s character will be how much here 33% but in sp3 the percentage of s character will be 25% so in sp2 the s character percentage is more therefore it will have more electronegative and can hold electron pair more tightly isn't it so compare with what actually sp3 hybridization in sp2 s character is 33% more when you compare with sp3 so because of this what happen it can tightly bound that electron pairs because of this what happen the ccl bond length in halo alkenes is 177 mic picometer whereas in halo arenes it is 169 picometer so it is shorter bond length where you are having shorter bond length here in halo arenes isn't it you are having shorter bond length in halo arenes एग्जाम में आपको पूरा लिखने की जरूरत नहीं ये सारी चीज लिखने की जरूरत क्या आपको लिखना है जो अभी मैंने बताया ना सी सी एल इजेंटेड बॉन्ड लेंथ एस पी थ्री दिस इज फॉर हेलो ऑल्स दिस इज फॉर हेलो ऑल्स हेलो ऑल्स ओके इन दिस केस व्हाट एपन बॉन्ड लेंथ इज मोर बॉन्ड लेंथ इज मोर वेर एज एस पी टू हाइब्रेशन डबल बॉन्ड कार्बन here it is what actually sp2 hybridization bond length is less bond length is what actually less actually so definitely what happen here bond energy will be more ye aapko likhna hai ye sare cheeze likhne ki zarurat nahi next third one if you observe here what happen instability of phenyl cation so when you observe what happen again i am writing here this part here <clears throat> now if i take mechanism how the reaction takes place again i will write the mechanism simple mechanism for this nucleophilic substitution reaction so in mechanism what is happening let me see cs3cl now this chlorine is removed so you got a carbocation like this so in you are getting a carbocation which become may mechanism sn1 mechanism now if i take what nucleophile here it will attack here so you are going to get in this way the product you are going to get actually correct now now are you getting carbocation yes but similarly if i take with aryl halides same if i take with aryl halides isn't it the bond is shifted here now we are going to get this this one we are going to but compared to this carbonium and compared to this benzene carbonium yeah this highly unstable having a positive charge on an aromatic compound is highly unstable because that huckel rule based on huckel rule only we are saying this one. so see whenever if you take an sp3 carbon sp3 carbon can be be a positive charge more when you compare with what sp2 carbon so sp2 carbon they can't bear the positive charges here. so here the, that is the reason what they are saying in the third one so in mechanism when you are undergoing what nucleophilic substitution reaction especially in sn1 mechanism no you are going to get the carbocation in which what type of cation you are going to get phenyl cation you are going to get that phenyl cation is a uh, highly unstable not be highly unstable it is not a stable compound so it is losing that resonance here. so that is the reason what happen so what you are writing this one uh, in sn1 mechanism carbocation will be formed but when you take aryl halides you are going to get phenyl cation which is highly unstable that is the reason the reactions will takes place slowly yeah. next what happen one more thing the last one the fourth one if you observe what happen repulsions so for example if i take what happened here 
if i take a uh, here like this now nucleophile means electron rich or electron poor beta bolo nucleophile means electron rich or electron poor electron rich rich right pi bond is electron rich or electron poor pi bond pi bond is electron rich or electron poor pi electron rich electron, ah, electron rich. rich only if you observe again the 11th class study we have discussed definition of nucleophile pi bonds are act as also nucleophile also that is there if you see in the 11th class what is nucleophile examples pi bond is also electron rich only because two electrons can be easily cleavable here electron rich okay now it is electron rich electron rich so dono actually is also a negative charge also what electron rich when electron rich and electron rich come together what happen repulsions will be generated zyada paisa hai to do dono ke paas paisa hai do friends hai dono ke paas paisa hai to kya hota hai jhagda ho jayega dono ke beech mein kyunki mera paas zyada paisa hai aur mere paas zyada paisa hai agar ek poor hai aur ek rich person hai to in dono mein thoda friendship ho jayega isn't it similarly what happen both are what electron rich so definitely what happen repulsions will generate here. so reaction uh, takes place very slowly whenever repulsions are taking place what happen the reaction cannot takes place na normally naturally the reaction could not could not takes place so we have to supply some energy for this so this is the last reason isn't it so because of what repulsions here it is there because of the repulsions likely for the electron rich nucleophile to approach the electron rich arrays electron rich arrays that aryl part this part the aryl part is what electron rich this part actually this is electron rich this one aryl arrays part actually so so these are the four reasons actually i think you have understood the four reasons one is actually because of double bond character of resonance second one because of what shorter bond length of sp2 carbon third one the phenyl carbocation is less stable the fourth one because of repulsions between nucleophile and electron rich arrays here so these are the four reasons uh, because of this what happened nucleophilic substitution reactions are very difficult to undergo on halo arrays but easily undergo with alkyl halides understood here right any any doubts you are having now regarding this regarding this we are having any doubts no sir all right very good now let me see some examples here now this is the chlorobenzene right this is the chlorobenzene i have taken here chlorobenzene i have taken now what what reaction we are doing nucleophilic substitution now naoh can anybody say what is the nucleophile in the naoh which part is the nucleophile here in naoh oh it's oh minus okay oh it's minus is a nucleophile very good now what we are doing this is a nucleophile we are replacing with what actually cl actually so cl is replaced with what nucleo otherwise oh it's minus substituted by chlorine here isn't it so this is called nucleophilic substitution reaction now this reaction is a uh, difficult or easy by seeing the temperature can you say temperature how much it is 623 kelvin temperature pressure is what actually 300 atm pressure pressure how much here 300 normal pressure how much generally one atmosphere so we are facing difficulty if you are having what one or two atmosphere pressure but how much pressure you are having 300 that means these are drastic conditions very difficult to maintain this condition that means to takes place nucleophilic substitution reactions we need to make which conditions drastic conditions maybe something what 623 kelvin temperature almost all what happened 300 plus temperature you are maintaining 300 degrees celsius more pen temperature you are maintaining isn't it almost all 350 almost all 350 degrees celsius and also 300 atmosphere pressure that means it indicates that nucleophilic substitution reactions are very difficult to take place on aryl halides so based upon this reaction we can see it. now this process generally called dose process dose method now what is dose method conversion of chlorobenzene into phenol this is called what phenol this is called what phenol actually you know this one already chlorobenzene so when chlorobenzene 
Listen here, when chlorobenzene on reacting with sodium hydroxide, the OH minus is a nucleophile, replaces, substitutes the chlorine in drastic conditions like 300 atmosphere and 623 Kelvin temperature, followed by acid hydrolysis. This H plus is nothing but acid hydrolysis will give phenol. Now, how to make this reaction very simple? How to make this reaction very simple means normal conditions. Now, what we have to do here? Very simple thing. Place the electron with drying groups here. Now, already you know, in the according to 11th class, electron withdrawing group means which withdraws the electron. Generally, minus I groups, minus mesomeric effect groups. We have studied in the 11th class. It is. Minus I group means what? Which withdraw electrons. Minus M. Minus generally means withdraws. Electron withdrawing groups. So here I have taken NO. You can take what happened, any group. Cyanide you can take, isn't it? So you can take any withdrawing groups like CHO, NO2, halogens, any you can take. But I have taken an NO2 group. Now, NO2 group I have taken here, which is called electron withdrawing group action. So, presence of electron withdrawing groups makes the halo arrange readily to undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction. Isn't it? How to enhance the rate of reaction? Tell me. How to increase the rate of reaction? How to make the reaction simple? With the help of catalyst. Catalyst me to use nai kiya isme. Catalyst use kiya mein isme. By using minus M group. Hmm, very good. By using what? Minus I or minus M? By simply say, by using electron withdrawing groups. So why? Because if in the examination if they ask how to improve the, the reactivity, how to improve the conditions better for what? Nucleophilic substitution reaction by placing electron withdrawing groups here. In multiple choice questions, they may ask like this. So, with electron withdrawing groups, what we can make the nucleophilic substitution reactions readily. See now, now if I place one electron, isn't it withdrawing group? What happened actually? You observe here what happened. One electron withdrawing group, if you observe what happened, the condition you observe, the temperature now. Drop it to how much here? 443 Kelvin temperature. Almost around something what happened? 150 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now around something 180 degrees Celsius, something like that. If you don't write any pressure, what happened? It will be one atmosphere. Specifically, if you mention what happened, that is 300. You are not mentioning this. Now it is dropped to one atmosphere. Now you see also. Again, I have taken how many withdrawing groups here? Two withdrawing groups. So you got normal uh, 100 degree, roughly you got 100 degrees Celsius. 368 Kelvin means around what 90 something what 5 like that. 95 degrees Celsius you got here. Here you are dropping the temperature to 95 degrees Celsius. Here you are dropping uh, something you are getting what here 43 plus what 27. Something what happened? Uh, 50 surrounds or something what happened? One. 150 degrees Celsius, something roughly I have taken. No, no need to take what 40, 180 degrees Celsius, something, isn't it? Now it is something around 350 degrees. Now temperature is now coming into what here? Normal. Now lastly, when you observe here, how many electron withdrawing groups have taken? NO2, NO2, NO3. Three electron withdrawing groups have taken. So when you supply three electron withdrawing groups, what happened? Now normal temperature, just by gently warming. By simply gently warming, which reactions are taking place, beta? Which reactions are taking place when you gently warm? Nucleophilic substitution. Nucleophilic substitution. Previously, chlorobenzene is very difficult to undergo nucleophilic sub substitution reactions. We, have, we, need, we need to make what drastic conditions, high temperature, high pressure required. Isn't it? We are providing some energy to that. But now, when you place electron withdrawing groups, the reaction is readily taking place. So, so this is the reason. Now, where we have to place electron withdrawing groups? That is important for us. Now, when you observe here what happened, when I, when I write what chlorobenzene like this. Now, there will be three positions will be there. One is ortho position. Other is what? Meta position. Finally, what? Para position. For what ortho? I am writing only one letter only. Instead of wasting the time, simply what happened? I will write here what? Okay. 
okay no problem this is you right no this is not responding no problem ortho this one is what meta this one is what para now what about this one beta here this part is what actually tell me this part here This part will be what? Yes. Are you there? Sleeping. Sir, we are not able to see the point. Here, here. This part. Meta. Okay. This is also meta only. This is also meta. This one also what? Artho only. That means for mono substituted. benzenes mono means only one is on the benzene so in that case there will be two ortho positions two meta position one para po next to the substituent is called ortho position beta next to the substituent is what ortho next to the ortho is called what meta next to the meta is called what para now understood no now the electron withdrawing groups we need to place at ortho and what here para so now tell me how do you increase this one by placing is and you observe here the placing the electron withdrawing group no2 group okay now introducing here at ortho position and what para position however there is no effect on reactivity observed when electron withdrawing group placed at meta position so understood this statement here when you place electron withdrawing group at ortho and para position we are increasing that effect which one the nucleophilic substitution reactions are readily taking place but when you place electron withdrawing groups at meta position there is no change here so what i mean to say is that to increase the nucleophilic substitution reaction effect we need to place electron withdrawing groups at which position beta tell me do first at which position we need to place ortho and para ortho and para position isn't it is my voice is audible to you otherwise because nobody is speaking is my voice is audible to you yes sir sir because nobody is speaking means what happen i thought what happen my connection is not uh, having response okay let me see the reason here let me see the reason here now i will make this one here in this uh, i will make actually now if i take what happen a chlorobenzene like this okay i am taking what here a chlorobenzene like this now i am writing here Structures. Screen is visible for everyone. What am I am writing here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Five bond is shifted here, so we are going to get a negative character. On which position can you say? Now the neg negative character will get on which position? Tell me. Ortho. Ortho. Very good. Very good. Ortho position. We are going to get the negative charge. Whenever if you lose lone pair, put a positive charge. Okay. Now again, you do one more time. Put this negative into pi bond. Pi bond as a negative like this. Convert like this. These are resonance structures you are studying in the eleventh class. Now again, this one will be same. This part also will be same. Here, yeah, this negative will convert into pi bond, and the pi bond will convert into negative. So negative part here you got ortho position. Negative part you got yet para position. Okay, and do one more time also. Now negative part convert that one into pi bond. Pi bond will shift and into ortho position now this will get a pi bond nature this will get a pi bond nature negative character double bond chlorine the positive character here also with the finally what happened the negative will be shifted over here the pi bond taken by the chlorine so finally the same first structure we get here. whatever the first structure is there we are going to get the same thing we are going to get same thing we are going to get. okay 
Now this one, this one is same thing, no problem. Now we got here also what orthopedic. Now the negative charge you are getting on which positions you are getting negative charges? Either ortho position or para positions you are going to get. At meta position in resonance you are not getting no negative charge. Okay. Now understood or not? This 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 resonance is understood or not? Yes, sir. Yes, in resonance, yes, in resonance, yes, you are getting negative charge over at ortho position and as well as what para position, but not at meta position, right? Now, if you observe here, what happened here? Once this is just imagine this is a nuclear cell. Now, this nuclear cell when attacks here, isn't it? When attacks here on the chlorine side, now what happens here? You got a negative charge observed here. Here you got a negative charge at ortho position. Take you observe your textbook. Otherwise, if you don't visible, you see para position you got a negative charge. So even here also. Now it is attacking, and here also what happened? You observe here everything. But if it attacks, if you observe this one at meta position, if NO2 is attacking here, so there is no negative charge over here. So actually, what is the function of the electron withdrawing groups here? Why we are taking this one? I already told you no one thing in the fourth one fourth reason if you observe what happened here the fourth reason if you observe what is the fourth reason because of the possible repulsions it is less likely for the electron rich nucleophile to approach the electron rich erins actually so what i mean to say in this case what happened the electron withdrawing groups will decrease the electron rich where you are getting electron rich actually at ortho position and para position, the electron rich is there. You see, observe again this observe. You are getting electron rich is there here. Electron rich here. Electron rich here. Electron rich. There actually it is withdrawing the electrons actually. So because of this, what happened? When the electron density decreased on arenes, what happened? The nuclear free substitution reactions are taking place. Okay, so this is a reason actually. Now, you after the class, what happened? You can read this one. Can you think why does NO2 group show its effect only at ortho and para positions? So you read this one, isn't it? Whatever we discuss, it will be there. This one. You have to read this one and you have to make in notes also this part. Why this is happening? Make notes also. Next, lastly, what happened? This is the for last reactions, electrophilic substitution reactions. Now, electrophilic substitution reactions are taking place on halobenzene. Here. They are readily takes place. Here. The previous one is nucleophilic substitution does, does not take place readily, but electrophilic substitution reactions takes place readily. Now, what is this electrophilic substitution reactions? You observe here what happened. If I take what happened, a chloro. Just now we take what actually one whatever whatever we written. No, you observe here. You got a negative charge over here, right? Correct or not? You got a negative charge over here, and you got a negative charge. Now negative will attacks which one electrophile. Now whenever if you take electrophile here, that attacks which position? Now you see, ortho position or para position or again ortho position. So because of because halobenzenes, see because of halobenzenes, they are producing negative charges over ortho and para positions. What I am saying here, these halobenzenes are producing negative charge at ortho and para position. Where the electrophile can easily attack. This part is understood, everyone. Yes, sir. Right? Electrophile attacks at which position? Ortho position, para position, ortho position. Why? Because this halobenzene, that means halogen, being as what electron donating group, donating electrons to the benzene, making it ortho para positions into what negative charge. Now the electrophil attacks there at ortho and para position. Now according to the eleventh class, we studied this one halogenation. We have studied here. So here in this case, chlorine is electrophil. Which one is chlorine is electrophil attacks there at para position and at ortho position. You got one comma two dichlorobenzene and one comma four dichlorobenzene. Now which part is major among this one? This is major. Why? Because see both halogens are away from each other. But in this case, what happened? One comma two dichlorobenzene, ortho dichlorobenzene, 
there will be some repulsions will be there why repulsions are generating because the two chlorines are near to each other see the bulk groups these are two bulk groups isn't it they are what near to each other that is the reason repulsions will generate that is there is minor maybe 25% like that this will be what 75% like that now in the case of nitration what is the electrophile here no2 plus is the electrophile no2 plus is the electrophile Now attacks at which position here? Ortho position, para position. Again, major will be para one will be the major. In sulfonation, sulfonation will be electrophile will be SO three. But from this hydrogen, you are going to get SO three H. Okay. Now, in field of reaction, the electrophile will be what here? CS three. This will be the electrophile here. Attacks at which position? Again, ortho position, para position. and finally what happened acylation this is what acylation acylation isn't it? this one will be the alkylation now here the electrophile will be what here cs3 c double bond o this part will be the electrophile attacks on which position again ortho position and what here para position this is called what we have to give numbering from here 1 2 3 4 because this is more parity so 4 chloro estophenone 1 chloro sir 2 chloro estophenone isn't it so there are what how many electrophilic substitution reactions are there five electrophilic substitution all are taking place here. halogenation electrophile is what halogen nitration electrophile is no2 plus sulfonation electrophile is so3 friedel craft reaction electrophile will be alkyl group methyl group an acylation alkyl acyl group will be the electro so these are five electrophilic substitution reactions you have studied in the 11th class itself so here also we are going to get this one so simply what we have to do you have to substitute we have to write that electrophile at ortho and para positions so we have to identify what is the electrophile and write that one at ortho and para position and definitely the para product will be major because of less steric index so this is about electrophilic substitution reactions here And uh, finally, what happened? We see this Burge fitting and fitting reaction. Only simple one reaction that we see. This part we can understand. You have to do this one. Now, already you have studied the Burge reaction. No, what is the difference between Burge and fitting? What happened? If I take what happened? generally Burge reaction, what happened? Rx and Rx, isn't it? This is what actually Burge reaction. Correct or not? Nax, Nax. Now we are going to get here what R. Alkenes were getting here. Alkenes, alkenes. This is Burge reaction, no? Now what I am doing here? One is in the case both are alkyl halides. Both are actually what alkyl halides. Here it is alkyl halide, and this one also alkyl. When both are alkyl halides, that is called what Burge reaction. And one of them is aryl halide. You see, one is aryl halide, other is alkyl halide. So one is what alkyl halide, other is aryl halide. Then the reaction is called Burge. Fittig reaction, what is Fittig reaction? Remaining is common thing. Next, both are aryl halides. Both are what aryl halides? That reaction is called Fittig reaction. Like this, it is aryl halide X plus sodium again plus sodium plus again X aryl halide. Now, what happen here? Any X will be removed here. Any X will be removed. Now, both are joining. You are going to get this. So, in Fittig reaction. You take both are aryl halides in Burge fitting reaction. One is alkyl halide, other is what aryl halide. In Burge reaction, both are what alkyl halides. Now, what you have to do? I will give you assignment. This is not there. The polyhalogen compounds you leave it this one. You see, it is not having. So, this is about the syllabus of alkyl and aryl halides are completed. Now, I will give what to do this one in examination point of view. Now, all of you do one thing here. Now, ten point fourteen you complete today. Ten point fourteen you complete today. Okay, ten point fourteen, ten point fifteen. Okay, already you have completed ten point sixteen. No, so today homework is what ten point fourteen and ten point fifteen. Try to complete this one, and tomorrow, now no, I will take at ten thirty normal time. Ten thirty, I will start the class. So if you have any doubts, I will explain this one. Okay, so this is about today class. Now, if you have any doubts, you can stay with. Otherwise, you can you can ask doubts tomorrow. Hmm? So now we can leave the class.